Good morning, interwebs. It's 10 o'clock, and I've been up since like 7 15, 7 30 ish, all dressed and stuff. We have already had breakfast and cleaned the kitchen once for the day. How many times do you run to clean the kitchen today, Steve? Oh, at least three. At least three times. Because today we are going to work on some canning things. Yesterday, um, Steve put the, like, blended up that enchilada sauce I showed you we were making the night before. Here is some of it heating back up. And I have prepared my jars to put that in. And it's going to go in the pressure canner. We also have a, what well, wasn't a box, a cucumber, which Steve now has in the sink. We're washing those so that they can get food processed, like with the grater blade. And I'm going to turn those, along with some peppers, into relish. And then we are also going to cut up all of these peppers, and those are going to turn into some basil, banana pepper, sweet pepper, whatever, jelly. And then we'll see where we go from there as far as the canning of things. So... I guess canning is what I'm doing today because, well, it needs to be done. That's the reason. Um, we're getting to the end of the year. So the vegetable canning will be over here shortly. And tonight at work, Steve is going to work up some apples for me so that tomorrow I can start canning apples for the year. So, yes, it's going to be a long and busy day. And we have a soccer game at 2.30? 2.30. 30. 2.30. Oh, it is like 10.15. And I just finished... Whoop, that was loud. I just finished putting the kids to bed, and I am straightening up the kitchen a little, and I am about to make relish. Um, it's all been, like, Steve broke down all the vegetables and stuff for me. I just need to actually, like, cook the relishy parts. I had to wait because I didn't have enough vinegar, and I didn't have celery seed, which I needed to make the, uh, the relish, so I had to wait until after our daughter's soccer game when we were going to be over in Marysville and I go to Walmart. But, uh, yeah, it just never happened this evening that I got to it. I did, however, this morning I got these all taken care of. I ended up making nine pints of the enchilada sauce, and they turned out really tasty. So I am looking forward to those. And then Steve made super yummy lunch today. He, um grilled some of our new pork chops on the grill and I opened up I had a jar of um green beans that I had canned that hadn't sealed so they were in the fridge so we boiled those up and ate those and they were really good and we had some John Alicious apples from our apple picking fresh cut up and those were really tasty and today was just one of those days where lunch was just like nom 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 I kept making little happy sounds and I just kept shoveling it in because it was like super extra tasty and I don't really know why but I'm kind of okay with that and then we um we had my daughter's soccer game and that went all right the team um they lost by like a lot today um, yeah oh rude people <laughs> there were rude people at the soccer game what do you know so there is a time and a place for everything Personally, I do not smoke, but I know people do. It's a choice you make, whatever. I get that free choice. I'm all for that. But on the sideline of a children's soccer game, when you're sitting in a whole bunch of rows of chairs with little toddler children all smushed together with their parents, and while I am not, there were several pregnant women <laughs> sitting in the row with me. It's not an appropriate location to begin smoking cigarettes and spreading your secondhand smoke to the people who are squished near you. Now, I am fairly certain I know who it was that started smoking. I don't know the person personally, but um, they were trying to be all stealth about it. But really, if you wanted to smoke, I mean, we're at a park, we're outside, at least get up and have the decency to walk away. Or walk and stand behind the row of people. Don't sit there at, like, face level with all the little kids and smoke. It's just so rude. And there's my cat, who is apparently being rude and being on my kitchen counter. What do you need? Do you have a need? Do you just want to tell me how delicious our house smells with all those dehydrating apples? Is that what you're telling me? Or are you telling me that I'm crazy sauce to can relish at 1015? Quite possibly both of those things. But yeah, so person smoking at 
the soccer game. I just thought that was so inappropriate. And I was also trying to figure out, like, what or how to approach said person without, you know, starting a big thing. But I just... People, right? What else did I do today? I took several, like, little cat naps because I was really tired. Um... Because I stayed up too late the other night to hang out with Steve. The things you do for your husband, you know? I stayed up and I ate cookie dough and I had drinks and I watched Shameless. I mean, he is a lucky man. <laughs> no, um, I stayed up too late the night before my craft show because it was like his last day off in forever. And so we uh, made the most of it and we're trying to get in an extra episode of our show before we went to bed, plus I never sleep well the night before craft shows, so it wasn't like it was worth going to bed, you know, any earlier, but I think it's catching up to me, because it's always, it's not the night before sleep, it's two days before that'll catch us, so that's that. I'm hopeful that tonight I will get to go to sleep at a decent time, and by get to, I mean make myself and not get sidetracked by the interwebs, which is a vacuous time suck and easy to fall into, so... We'll see. Hopefully YouTube and all the things internet related don't suck me in tonight. Um, I think my uploading my video should go a little smoother tonight too, so that should make it better. But I will have to stay up till my relish is done. I just need to get it in the pot, cook it down, and thankfully the relish does not take a super long time to process. But I think I may have enough relish to make two batches, so that makes it take a little longer. But I guess I will stop here, and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty-night. Bye.